ingenuity of certain people there remind us really of spiritual truths, but don't touch really the quality of spirit, which energizes parish activity. Talk about the, all this community business and every time I turn the TV on, talk about the, the goal, the zeal, the energy, the goodwill of this congregation. I gotta tell you this in gratitude, made my serving them as administrator only a satisfying role. I was only there to help out. You don't mind. <laughs> Cardinal Cardinal, uh, Father Monsignor Craig used to say, Bill, you don't mind. As long as I had roller skates on, it didn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I went from pillar to post just to watch the store to somebody come in and rob the people. <laughs> 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 did a halfway decent job. <laughs> anyway, but uh, today uh, I'm grateful to Father Ed for allowing me to express personally what you've done for me at God's name. Every day I finish a mass, I say, thank God for those who have been good to me and your name, for your name's sake. Uh, this is a prayer or some, uh, some priest's uh, ordination card. But I think about it, it uh, for myself, if I went down the street, I wasn't a priest, you wouldn't even blow your nose in my direction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the priest would say, hello, Father. If I had a flat tire, the whole family would be over there helping to chase the flat and maybe even load them a spare from their back, the back of their car. That's the difference. The, the fraternity that, that's so real and I've experienced, and I can't even tell how many places I've been, but that's okay. I, would, uh, I wasn't good enough for my own diocese, went to Newark where I I went to the seminary in York, that wasn't good for them. And so I figured I'll, I'll, I got a nation in the hole. My uncle teaches at the seminary, then Woody in New York, or his, our, uh, our uh, cathedral college. I got a maid to shave. You got a big kid. So I ended up leaving the, the tread. Of course, uh, Bishop Griffin says, What in God's name has that got to do with you? <laughs> you know. You were, they wouldn't accept it. They didn't look at me at all. They just looked at a lot of other kind of um, official things that had nothing to do with me. And so the upshot was that I ended up here and I've been as happy as I could be. And the mentality was, and it showed, I guess, I'm happy to where I go. I'm never going to ask to go any place. I'm never going to ask to leave any place. And where God wants me, it's because he wants me to be there. That's the providence of God. And you've got, to, you've got to remember that yourself because some of you are married because just by chance you met your husband. Whether at work or at a dance or they had a flat tire. <laughs> you never know. A nice guy in the garage. You know what I mean? Or somebody come in and fix the broken toilet. <laughs> yeah. That's God draws straight with crooked lines. Chew <laughs> on that when you cut your toenails. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it does business. And using little things like that to get you and me in touch with each other. And you didn't even realize it was such a wonderful person. They used to wave at, say hello to him once in a while, or just ignore it. And yet, when you brought the dog back and ran away, Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> some, some eye contact or something like that. Boy, I'm telling you. Look at him, I miss right there. And God in his providence gets us together. Right? And that's why each one of us is here. And I'm grateful even for being here and uh, satisfying. And may the Father of us all bless us now. Continue. And uh, about to pray for making my stay with, with you. Wonderfully gratified uh, uh, high water mark for my priest, Bill. And as my favorite hymn puts it so beautifully, may the 
good Lord bless you, keep you, 